and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick, with the City of Hampton's Communications and Marketing Department. And today we're going to talk about bullying. And, and the, the group that is here with me today um, is not necessarily one that typically lectures or just talks about it. They have a play, so they're going to um, use a different method of communication. My guests today are Demetrius Ward. Welcome. Thank you. And Ruckett. How Thank are you? you? I'm fine. Thank Good you. to have you back. Yes. So tell me about um, why you both got involved in, in this play about bullying. You want to start, Dreesen? Uh, well, this is actually our fifth uh, season in performing uh, during this time of the year. Of course, October is National Bullying Prevention Month. And so every year for the past five years, we've performed a different production. Uh, this play, but always tied to this theme. Right, okay. al always tied to this theme. And um, this play in particular, again, is written by Miss Marie St. Clair. I know she's, she's hiding. She didn't come on <laughs> air this time. Yes, but she's definitely a great behind the scenes worker. She wrote and she's directing this play. And um, we're going to be performing it twice this year. And it's a big platform this year, so we're looking forward to it. That's great. Yes. But now personally, you know, on a personal level, is there an incidence with bullying in, in your past or something that you've seen or witnessed that, that really brought you forward on this issue? Well, you know, I used to, I was in the military. <laughs> Not necessarily that that was a big bullying environment, but it was definitely a controlling and manipulative environment at some times. And so being fresh out of high school and being intimidated in some ways, it did appear as a bullying situation. And also, you know, as a child, I believe that most people have experienced some sort of bullying, whether physical or mental mm -hmm. or verbally. So, yes, I have. So I can bring that experience bring to that. the table, yes. Demetrius, what about you? Well, uh, I always uh, have a desire to tackle uh, these type of issues um, and also had a love for theater. So when you can put those two together, um, and get a message out through performance arts, uh, I think it's uh, wonderful. And uh, when I found out about this uh, this uh, group, I definitely jumped on because uh, I believe what they're doing is uh, very important. And I think people need to see it. And, and if we can express it in this performing type of way, I, I think it's uh, beautiful. Now, why do you think um, that sometimes a, a performance can get a message across more than you know just talking to somebody? I believe uh, performances uh, can uh, touch people in ways because uh, people can relate to uh, the drama of a performance and uh, the the uh, comedy aspect of it. Because you know, with performances, you have drama and you have com uh, drama and comedy, and they both uh, just fit together. You know, and uh, people just love to be entertained. They love to go to theater to cry, laugh, get upset with the antagonists, and uh, root for the you know, protagonists. So it, it sort of works out both ways. What sort of sneaks in the message as opposed to you know, lecturing someone? Um, and, and you feel it on an emotional level, I think, oh, yes. in a performance yeah. in a way that um, other, other media don't necessarily get that across. Right. So tell us about this play. Tell us who you play, Demetrius. What's, what's your story in the play? <laughs> well, I, I play the uh, main antagonist, uh, one of the main antagonists, uh, Mr. Speck, who's the coach of the uh, high school football team. Uh, there's also another, uh, LaDonna, who's the uh, lead, uh, lead of the uh, dance group for the uh, high school. Uh, they, they both have this uh, controlling, manipulative type of attitude, and they sort of talk over people, sort of, try to have things go their way. But uh, as the play progresses, you see their words turn against them in a, a sense, and you know, as the play unfolds. Yeah. Okay, so Dreesen, who do you play? I'm actually Coach Speck's friend and coworker, uh, the assistant principal, Mr. Carl Cooley. <laughs> so I'm sort of an enabler at some times, um, but when things get out of hand, you see my character change as well. Okay. So it's a lot of twists and turns in it, but it's a it's a very emotionally driven and uh, real uh, production. Yes. Well, and it's interesting that um, that there's a female protagonist too as well, because I think a lot of times you think of bullying and you think of guys. It's yeah. a very often a physical 
kind of bullying right. with guys. And, uh, and with girls, it can be very different, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean it hurts less or right. that it's you know, less, right. less painful in the long run. Right. And uh, one thing about uh, this play is that you are seeing another side of it. You know, most of the time when people think of bullying, they think of like from a high school uh, type of view, but uh, there's also uh, the side of, you know, that adults deal with. Um, in their workforce, and um, <clears throat> it's a little more subtle, and you don't really—it's not really out there as a, as it would be in high school, but it's out there. Uh, adults deal with it, kids deal with it. So I think this play is going to be for uh, children and adults, uh, and it, everyone will be able to relate to it, you know, through this uh, performance. That's interesting too, because I think a lot of people think of it only on the kid level. Right. That that once we're adults, it doesn't happen anymore, or we're better equipped to deal with it. Right. Is that true? Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> you know, and uh, he brought up a great point. Normally, we don't recognize it as bullying in the adult world. You know, in in the workforce or anywhere. Um, as adults, we just feel like, oh, they're being mean. Or that's just their personality. They're crass. But it's actually bullying. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do you guys, uh, not y you guys necessarily, but you show um, some techniques for coping with someone who is a bully in the play? Well, I, like I said, for my character... You're trying uh, not to give away too much. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to give away anything. I want you to come out to the show. Of course, of <laughs> but, course. But, um, you know, it's really... Putting yourself, of course, in acting, you have to put yourself into that character's um, role. You have to change and become that person. And, and when you're that person, beyond the script, you're feeling these emotions, these words that are coming toward you, and you have to react in a human way. And so that's the great thing about acting. You are playing someone else, but indeed you're applying yourself to that person. So. You're really gonna cheer on. You're really gonna root for his character and other characters, and you're gonna hate my character <laughs> and Ladonna. You're gonna hate us because it's just bad, bad people. Uh, but the thing is, are they really bad, or uh, are they just uh, victims of some other type of bullying in their own lives? Right. You sort of get a, you sort of see that in the play as well. All right, I have a hard time picturing you as the bully. You are <laughs> mild-mannered and polite and soft-spoken. Is this a real transformation for you? Or yes. is it you have some piece of that? No, we I, all maybe have some piece <laughs> of that. Yeah, um, I think it's just a transformation, you know, just diving into the role. I, when, I, when we start rehearsing, I become Coach Beck, and that's all I am. <laughs> Arrogant, controlling, think I'm on top of the world, that type of thing. It's all about me, it's no one else. I mean, if I was coached back right now, I would sort of focus the camera on me. I would, <laughs> How I would, would you do it. that? Let, let's go for it. Come on, be coached back for like, a second. OK, listen here, everyone. Uh, this is all about me. It's all about my shine. I'm coached back. Winning. That's what my father always tell me. It's all about wise. Win in every situation. <laughs> There you go. That is, um, that's fairly aggressive personality. <laughs> oh, yes. How, how did you learn to be an actor? How did this come about for you? Um, I think a lot of uh, just practicing with my, my kids, uh, just getting into role-playing characters, but also just growing up. Uh, I always love theater. Even if I can just sit in the back and just watch them rehearse, I, I just love just sitting and listening and being a part of it. Uh, you, You've I done can, community I, theater before? Did you do yeah, theater in high school? Um, I did uh, theater in high school, and I also, um, with my uh, local church, and uh, also um, with a few other, in a few other uh, locations as well. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them were uh, small parts. There were a few uh, main roles I had, but uh, I just like to, just like to be a part of the theater, even if. I have to pass water to someone <laughs> just being a part of that type Hammer of Hammer a set, oh, yeah. anything yeah. like that. <laughs> I'll hold this for you. I'll be a tree, yes. you know. Right, yeah. right. It is special. I know I've never felt like I could do it, but when, it, right. when you're in college, I had some friends who were drama majors, and um, I think I did costumes for their senior production because it's fun being in the theater. I mean, it's a, it's oh, yes. a different, challenging, creative environment. Oh, yes. Now, do you guys have actual teenagers or younger folks in the performance, or is it mostly adults? 
You can answer. Well, that. we uh, we actually uh, because with this play, you're you're seeing two sides of the uh, bu bully spectrum. You're seeing mm -hmm. it from a uh, high school perspective, where you have Ladonna, who's like the the main bully for the uh, the teenagers, and mm -hmm. you also have uh, myself playing as Coach Beck, who's mm -hmm. sort of the bully with the school in, amongst the school staff mm -hmm. as well. So you're seeing it from a high school uh, point of view, and you're also seeing it from a uh, work adult workforce type of uh, view. So does this give kids an opportunity to be in the performance and oh, yes. um, be involved in theater? And I think that's something you know we talk about. Kids maybe a lot of kids maybe stay in school because of athletics or right. because of but but the arts are also one of those things where kids can find their passion and can get them involved and and, and on a productive track. Right. Well, and the Entertainers Theater Troupe has been developing for years under uh, Marie and at they, West Hampton Community right, Center. We should we should credit at West Hampton um, Community yeah, Center. Marie is a wonderful. Yes. And um, they have definitely uh, turned it up this year. Um, they've been doing it for a while now, and the characters really are unfolding. Um, so it's exciting. I'm, I'm excited. That's great. And, and Marie said usually um, you all do the play um, in Newport News. That's correct. Um, but this year you're also going to do it in Hampton. And that's a right. big building. Tell us about oh, yes. that. Well, um, on October the 10th, we have the privilege to perform at the Mary T. Christian uh, Theater on the Thomas Nelson campus in uh, Hampton. So woo woo for that. That is <laughs> big. Know? And that's a beautiful theater. Right. I've been there before. That should be wonderful. That, that showcase will be at 630 on, again, on October the 10th. And it's free to the Public. It's free. It's How do free. we get tickets, or do we need tickets? Is it um, a first come? Well, you, it's um, it's first come, uh, you know, first seat. Okay. And um, um, I believe that there is a chance to to get advanced seating, um, but you would have to check with the Mary T. Christian uh, Theater. And then on October the twentieth, we're performing at the Downing Gross Cultural Arts Center in Newport News. Uh, that's at five thirty. So. And that's wonderful, too, because that is, you know, in the middle of a community that probably could hear this message. I mean, right. Thomas Nelson is a beautiful place, and really you are speaking to high school kids, to college kids, to people in the workforce, right. you know, as you said. But it's nice to go into a community that maybe needs to, to hear this message and right. self-esteem and how to stand up or, or how to resist this kind of thing. That's right. So um, this is... a an avocation or a hobby acting for both of you, right? Neither of you um, is, is going to be able to make this necessarily your full-time job. Well, you know, if it happens. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be ready for right. it, right? Yeah. But you're both writers as well. You said you'd written a play, yeah. Demetrius? Um, it was a while back. Uh, the, uh, I called it the lady, That Lady's Blues. Uh, it was just something small. I thought of a young lady uh, coming into a, a, a bar. You know, she didn't have any money on her or anything like that, and she uh, she found her way by uh, performing. Uh, the manager gave her a chance to perform, and she was able to perform, and uh, I showed it to my music teacher, and she loved it, so we were able to get a whole cast together, perform dancers and uh, musicians, and we sort of put it on for the uh, school district and raised some money uh, for books and cool. things like that. That's wonderful. Yes. And, Dreeson, I know you're a writer. You've been here um, for your spoken word before. Right, yes. So, writer-performer. I've written a play before, too. It's called I Am a Man. <laughs> and uh, the play was written off of uh, the various aspects that young boys go through with either having a missing father or a father that was deceased and growing up to try to figure out how to become that man that society can depend on and that the community can lean on. And so it just shows uh, various aspects of boys growing up. Hey, that sounds great. We'll yeah. look for that one to be performed soon. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much. Thanks for coming by, and I look forward to seeing um, the play. Tell us again, that I don't know if we've ever said the full name of it. The full name of the play is The Wrath of a Real-Life Bully. The Wrath yes. of a Real-Life Bully, which is you. Yeah. <laughs> and I just want to say that the other actors, including the, student, the actual students, are wonderful. The first time I went into rehearsal, I was blown away. I was excited. I wanted to just sit and listen and watch them because of their performance. So uh, 
I'm looking forward to it myself. Just working with these people, working uh, with yes. him is, is amazing. Well, that's great. I look forward to seeing it. And uh, I, yes. I can um, uh, also announce that our producer, Wibbe uh, Gabre, has a small part as yes, well. He wanted yes. a bigger part, but he can't make <laughs> rehearsals because he's working. Right. <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thanks for what you're doing thank for you. the community. And I look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Great. And I hope that many of you will come out and see this production as well. Um, drama, humor, and, um, and excitement. Thank you.